Yeah, let's do it. My name is Frank, and this is Andrew, otherwise known as Musical Mike. Mm-hmm. And we are doing a War of the Spark, ranked War of the Spark draft. It is best of one, so it might be quick. The reason we're doing this is because we want to mix it up a little bit from Corset 2020, which we have not been uh, having much luck with. So we're going to use this gold. Corset Elemental. Ooh, a Johnny only. seems fantastic. Oh, what? What's it do? Creatures you control with Vigilance. Gain three. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control. Or if you Dane. It's very good. That is very good. He's a solid rare, Andrew. I have to sneeze. Oh, God. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Go. <laughs> don't what? Did you not want me to do it? <laughs> Were you trying to deny me my sneeze? What's the Paradise Tree? Uh... It's 2-1. It makes mana, and it, it is hexproof as long as it's untapped. Seems good, but I don't know. This card's terrible. Whenever this creature does combat damage to a player, destroy an artifact or enchantment that player controls. Like, yeah. Neoform is not great and limited. Mm-hmm. Divine uh, Hour is good. Ooh, I like stuff like that a bunch. I do like Paradise Druid. I think Paradise Druid is very, very good. Especially because um, it's turn three a Johnny. Yeah, that's true. And it, our mana, it gives us a nice open mana. Thundering Ceratok is a four or five is good. Uh, I'll let you pick, but I would say Paradise Druid are the arrow. We're going to go. We're going to go with the Druid here. All right. Gideon's Triumph target opponent sacrifices a creature that attacked or blocked this turn. If you control a Gideon Planeswalker, they sack two creatures instead. So wow. that's kind of unlikely. But it's still sacking a creature. Uh, Crunch Wrangler is actually very good, and so is Pollen Bright Druid. These oh, seem. Crunch Wrangler. Crunch. Right? Crunch. Not Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so it's a 2 1 for 2. Whenever a creature with power 4 or greater enters the battlefield, you can put a counter on it. So. Wow, that's actually very good. And Ooh. it's also good because there's a lot of proliferate, and this says either put a 1 1 counter on something or proliferate. Yeah, so. let's go with it. This one? Yeah. Although I do want removal. They get, they get really big really fast. Uh, Courage and Crisis, also good. Yeah. Uh, puts a 1-1 counter on a creature, then you proliferate. So you can put a 1-1 counter on this guy and then proliferate on all your things so that your Planeswalkers get extra counters, things like that. That's nice. Um, Sunblade Angel, also not bad. It's a 3-3 for 6, but it has Flying, First Strike, Vigilance, and Lifelink. So I think this is probably the pick. It's just very good. Yeah, stuff like that's fun. It's and if really... we are proliferating and putting counters... This card's also insane. 2-2 uh, two, two for 3. Whenever it attacks, a uh, target creature without flying gains flying until oh, end of turn. My. Honestly, okay. Honestly, I feel like cards like that win drafts. They do. They're in... Yeah. Yeah. Do we take this? I. It's so hard, but I just feel like any time... Like, that's a 6-drop angel, and it'll be crazy, but, like, that Pegasus is going to do so much damage. But the only thing I'm considering is this is an uncommon and this is a common, so you're totally. likely to see more of these. I know. And fewer of these. I know, but I just I feel like those Pegasuses, like things like that. Just I agree win with you. Always. You want to do one of Pegasus? Let's get freaky. I I don't know if it's freaky per se. Ooh, a Jang Yangu. Oh, those are so good. What are the Yangu? The Yangus? I played like one of these. Uh, I played like a pre-release sealed, and I remember that. Yeah, this card's great, especially because we are kind of trying to proliferate more in this uh, Johnny you can negative two to put an extra counter on this to put a counter on all your creatures hi I'm Jiang Yang and this is Mo Wu <laughs> <laughs> love it let's go uh three four flyer for five not terrible especially if he gets counter great Gra grazer is kind of doo-doo is he it's just an 03 you don't want an 03 yeah uh destroy an artifact enchantment or an exile card from gray red this card's great strictly better than naturalize oh god here we go again no <laughs> he didn't do it. I hate you. <laughs> uh, six mana for a 3-6 that gains you five is not terrible, but it's not really what you're looking for. Tap a permanent if it's an artifact, destroy it, and then you draw a card. I think I we just want, want the Courage and yeah. Crisis. Yeah, 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 the no. proliferates are real good. Yeah. I do want some removal, though. I would love some removal. We probably won't see it this late. Iron Bully is actually also fine. It's a 1-1 one -one with Menace, but you put a counter on a creature. So it's either a 2-2 two -two with Menace... Or a 1-1 one -one with Menace that you can put a counter on something else. I'm surprised. I mean, like, I think that's our best option. I'm surprised that that's, like, playable. You're surprised? So, damn, I thought I it's was going to... It's because counters are... <laughs> yeah, what did thought you... I was going to clear it. It's okay. I got you. Uh, it's good because counters are so important. Yeah. Right? Because, like, one counter... Like, once you put another counter on it, Courage and Crisis now puts another counter on it because of the proliferate, so... Yeah. Uh, it's either, I think it's Vivian's Grizzly here. This card's not great, but in the late game, it can really take over for four mana. You get to look at the top card. If it's a creature or planeswalker, you put it in your hand. 
So at the end of their turn, you can just like look at the top two cards, look at the top two cards, and then yeah, it ends up drawing you quite a bit. Ironclad Crovad. Damn, that is boring. It is boring. Uh, one one counter on a creature. That creature gets first strike. You gain two life. This is actually not bad. It does a lot of things. Yeah. Another iron yeah. bully, sure. Doesn't matter. Sure. I said over here. Oh, uh, little, little guy. Oh, Ral Zarek. Ral Zarek. Oh, but the dog, isn't that, yes. doesn't that match up with our guy? Yes, it That's does. That's him and his guy. That's like unstoppable. It, I don't know if it's unstoppable, but this card's actually really good. 3-3 three, three, for 4 with Trample and Vigilance. If one or more counters are placed on it, it gets that many plus one instead. That's so, so good. Yeah, it's a, it's a, now we have both. Yeah. Feels good. Oh, another uh, Paradise Druid? Wow. That's great. Did we take our Paradise Druid? Yes, we did. Yeah, we did. Uh, Grazer can go down here. Uh, mm. Choose a creature, player, Planeswalker. Or ch creature, choose a creature or Planeswalker you control. All damage that we dealt to it is dealt to the chosen permanent instead. Interesting. Tap all creatures your opponents control. Creatures you control get lifelink. That's actually not terrible. Uh, yeah. But Although I feel like, I are we really going that wide? No, I don't. Th I, don't th I think it's. I think Paradise Shrine is a safer bet. Yeah. yeah. Davriel. Davriel. We can just take this divine arrow. Yes. You like divine arrows. So. I love removal. We need a hundred. Oh, more. another another yeah. Oh, take it. I oh, got real excited. It. I can't even. Dude, they're so good. They're actually pretty good. They are legendary. They don't forget. So. Yeah, but if oh, we put it in different Wanderer clothes, strike, exile a creature, then proliferate. That's, what, that's everything we want to do. That's we want to remove and pro proliferate. <laughs> that's all I want in Magic. Yeah. New Horizons not bad because uh, it adds puts counter on a guy and you add two men of any color. It's not terrible. I trust you on that. I like Worst Creature though. Worst Creature is just a one three for two, which is with a flyer. It's it's a fine flyer, but. Yeah, in the light game, you can tap it and pay six to give all your other creatures plus one, plus one. We have a pretty heavy amount of two drops, though. We got three. I mean, these you're not going to play on turn two. Yeah, that's true. Uh, what do you think? Horizon or creature? I don't think we need the ramp because we have two Paradise Druids already. I don't think we need... Because yeah. this is mostly just adding two And we're medicine. probably going to be weak on flyers, right? <laughs> or, well, we have the Pegasus, but not for... Two. Plus one, plus one, draw a card. Not exciting. Uh, put a creature with flying on the bottom of center's library. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, that's fine. nice. Another Enforcer Griffin. Also, Primordial Worm is a 7-6 seven, six for 6. It's just huge. I strangely don't hate that. No, it's totally fine, I think. Mm. <clears throat> Sacrifice that you may cast the spells. Yeah, no. It's, don't take the return to nature. Okay. Makeshift Battalion 3-2 whenever it attacks. And at least two of the creatures attack. Put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Yeah, that's actually fine. Yeah, it's a 3 drop three. Steady aim is fine. Untap a creature gets plus one, plus four in reach. Yeah. This is a, just a 2-2 two, two when it dies, you proliferate. I don't hate that. Kiora's Dam Breaker is insane. And if we can find a way to splash it, I would love to. Just the 5-6 that proliferates when it enters the battlefield. That'd be a funny splash. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. Oh, Tamio. Oh. Do we splash? What's this Tamio do? That's a lot of reading. Spells and abilities your opponent's control can't cause you to discard cards or sacrifice permanents. Not super relevant and limited. Uh, you can plus one, choose a non-land card name, then reveal the top four cards of your library. Put all of the cards with the chosen name in your hand. So if I name Paradise Druid, if I hit a Paradise Druid, it goes in my hand. Otherwise, all the cards go in the graveyard. That doesn't seem... And then negative three, return a card from your graveyard to your hand. I was ready for that to be more bananas. No, she's all right. She's, she's great and constructed. Right, yeah. Although this pack is kind of mids. It is kind of mids. Crawl Stinger's fine because of Death Touch. Yeah, that's true. Does uh, Giant Growth, is that... How much does that work in Limited? It's all right. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> I you'd probably rather have, like, uh, Battlefield Promotion just because the counter... Wait, did I see a removal spell? Oh, no, that was in ours. What about Gijin's Triumph? Gijin. <laughs> the fact that you call him Gijin all the time cracks me up. It's all right. I sure do love we don't have any way to splash. Oh, we do have double. We have double Paradise Druid though. Yeah. What What are you thinking? I don't For know. Tamio? I'm thinking Tamio, kind of. I mean, I mean, getting a card back from your graveyard is great. Plus, like, if we like, we have Cure's Dam Breaker to play with her, so that we can proliferate onto her and activate her again. I'm gonna follow your lead on this because it doesn't. It seems. This. Yeah. The moon looks That's intriguing just, tonight. Just, just hot trash. This is hot farts. Oh. Why would they do that? It doesn't even have any evasion. Right. And it's a submarine. 
That's the worst Not idea. Not only is it a submarine, it's a silent submarine. Both of the words in the name feel like it should be able to get around things stealthily. They definitely were playtesting it, and it had some great evasion, and then, like, last minute, they're like, fuck it, I don't it's know, make good. it just it's regular. Too good. Yeah. This card's insane. Oh, done. Yes, let's go. Is also, there anything else we're missing? This card's very good as well. Oh, damn it. Is, is that the, like, pretty expensive uncommon in standard? No. Oh. Your guest lost a lot of weight. <laughs> Wait, did I? I don't think so. I think you're thinking of a different person. I've been skinny forever. Uh, I love that that spirit. Yeah, yeah. Th this guy's really good. That's awesome. I'm game. Uh, oh, one thing is nice is playing Great Flapparition on turn two and then playing one of your Iron Bullies on turn three to put a counter on it and then you can proliferate onto it so it's a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, shit. And then the next turn it's a 4-4. Four, four. And then a 5-5, five, five, and so on. I want to take this Command the Dreadhorde. No, I'm not. None of these cards are great. This no. pack is pretty pretty doo-doo. Uh, wow. Wow? This is a very boring pack. What are we missing here? Is there anything? Not really. No Escape's actually not bad, but I don't really feel like I want to be that blue. Yeah. Put the primordial worm here. Uh. Wow. Why is this? I hate packs like it this. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't really make doesn't a difference. Matter. Yeah. You do it. Yeah. You do it. You pick. I can't do it. Uh, Wander Strike again. Oh yes. Yo. Yes. That's that's what we're trying to do. It's just very good. Uh, Locks on Sergeant. 3-3 three, three for 4. When it enters the battlefield, other creatures you can grant vigilance. Eh. Eh. Eh, none of these cards are super exciting. We could just take Prismite. It just fixes a little bit. Sure. We're never going to play it over Paradise Druid. Let's try to get another Wanderer Strike. I think no escape, actually. <clears throat> Dovin's Veto. Eh. Meh. Hmm. Top of the statue. Eh. It's not great. I don't think we need a third Wanderer Strike. Meh. <laughs> I was just saying. <laughs> I was just saying. <laughs> Yeah. Another worm. I mean, it doesn't. There's nothing else. Yeah. I guess Dovin's Veto is an option. Sure. It's not great. Teo's Light Shield. It's an 0 3 for 3. When it enters the battlefield, put a 1 1 counter on a creature you control. It's actually not bad. I also don't mind a Lazo Tep plating, but I don't think we're. <coughs> I don't think we want to go. Ugh. I don't think we want to go that blue. Mm. Wow. Just oh, I didn't. Uh, did I take that? That's interesting. All right. Guild Globe is playable. Sacrifice add two mana of different colors, and you just draw a card when it comes into play, so it replaces itself. Like it just helps you cast your blue cards. Yeah. Uh, Charm Stray. It's a one-one with Life Link. When it enters the battlefield, put a one-one counter on each other creature named Charm Stray. Wow. We have none. Still take it, just in case we can. Ta. <laughs> Andrew like that. We had a good time. Why didn't that one meow? I, oh, it it kind of made a hiss noise. Yeah. We got a gem. If you have, if you draft a rare that you have four of already, instead of that card, you get 20 gems. So we did that with both of these, I imagine. Mm. Um, definitely cutting these. Probably just two islands is fine. You get real freaky with that, but we do have fixing. Because we have our... We also have to cut two cards. Our druids. All right, what's our curve? How many creatures are you looking at here? 16 creatures? Could we go down one? We can probably cut one. Uh, Mark for the cause is all right. I mean, we have a bunch of planeswalkers, though. And two iron bullies. Iron bullies? I can see cutting worse creature. Go back to horse creature? Horse creature? Go back to the horse creature? Uh, yeah. I'm fine with that. Oh, it's a flying. But... It's only 1-3, though, so I'm not, like, super... It's all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. One more cut. Maybe guild globe? I just don't think we need it. I mean, if you feel comfortable with the fix... Because and... we have two... Also, this guy says each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter can add a man of any color, so that's another option. Oh, we're good. Guild Globe out of here. I accidentally took out our Divine Arrow. 
No, that's our favorite. No, not our divine arrow. All right, let's not do it. Not our divine arrow. Ready for these best of one matches? Yeah, let's go. Don't forget, no sideboarding. Best of one. I think War of the Spark is much more fun. Guys, can you tell us? Yeah, I agree. But that's just because it's a deeper set. Oh, this hand is great. Um, can you guys give us suggestions as to where we can go eat? Accepting eating suggestions. Is Music Mike slowly fading into the other? He will be missed. He might be. Wait, what is... No, I think... No, I don't know what was going on there. What? I think he was blending into his chair. Oh, I think it's because my hair is going away. Look. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm going to actually play Paradise Shirt because then we can play Mo Wu. Mo better, baby. <laughs> it's a chair plus the hair. Chair hair. Oh, tomato. This guy have Death Touch? No, it's just a 1 2 and it makes a 1 1. Sounds good. We're at a great spot right now. Vivian's Grizz. Viv Grizz. What's our move? What are we doing? We could attack with this, and if they block, we could Divine Arrow it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I love that, though. I might just want to play this guy. What's our pupper do again? What's the... Uh, if one or more counters we placed on him, it puts that many plus one on him instead. Uh-huh. Hmm. Yeah. I'm just gonna play this. Yeah. I hear the crusty crab has some pretty tasty burgers. Runicape, I don't even know why you use the 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 kappa anymore. I'm pretty sure everything you say is kappa. It's just implied. I wish you oh, could discard get two cards crab. and lose two life. Let's get rid of Crunchy and Vivian. Now we have a card to get back with Tamio at least. That's true. Tomato. Ooh, good. You would make an excellent informant for my study. Mm, get the grizzly. The past is never forgotten. The past is never forgotten, Tamio. Mm -mm. That's hilarious though, because if we had this out last turn, they couldn't make us discard cards. No. It's, it's fun. Oh wow, they're playing this two-two for two. That's fascinating. <laughs> oh boy, that's a good one. Nice. Someday. Nice. Eventually. It's eventually going to be. Let's try to hit a Johnny. Let me aid your research. Well, we didn't hit a Johnny. So I guess we'll just play this. Because next turn we can actually get back any of these. So we can just hit a land and then play Dam Breaker and then. Like we have nothing to proliferate on, unfortunately. No, our our pupper. He doesn't have any counters on it. Come on, man, get your life together. <sighs> if we draw the Ajani, if we can actually plus and try to hit a Johnny again, and then if we hit a Johnny putting a counter on all of these cards, it's actually nuts. That would be bonanzas. Get some biscuits from Red Lobster and then sneak them into the salad bar at Texas Day Brazil. Texas Day Brazil has those those cheesy breads though. Those are insane. But I like where your head's at. That's good. I also like um, another another place I'm fond of is Cody's, the steakhouse. Cody's oh, Cody, Roadhouse. Roadhouse, not steakhouse. Yeah, the peanuts. You can throw the peanuts yeah, on the floor. Yeah, because A, their salad is very good, and also their their biscuits with the honey butter is really good, the cinnamon oh. butter. Do you want to do that? I would do that. Okay. We still didn't hit an Johnny. We're discarding all kinds. Oh, Wanderer Strike. Yo, let's win games with that Pegasus. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. You know my dad. Happy to have contributed. <laughs> Nailed it.
Oh, they're 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 getting real aggressive at this tomato. Wow. Oh wow, they're That's really. Cool. I would say we've got our values worth out of it though. They're agitated. Because like still we get that Ajani and we just like win. We've sifted through a whole lot of deck. Oh, you want to keep it alive? Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, we double block here, so it only kills one of these. Yeah. yeah. And then we just kill the 4 4. Wow, we're actually in a great spot. Yeah, so we traded 3 3 for 4 5. And they get to amass 2, but that's just a 2 2, so whatever. They aided the Fallen. They returned something. So return a creature. I seen. I wish this one. I wish they had like a, a log to show you what they did. But we can just see what they did here. Target opponent reveals their hand. Choose a non and The player discards that. Oh, they forgot. Like the Tamiyo static ability says, spells and abilities your opponent's control can't cause you to discard cards. Uh, so that's what we did. Silly gooses. Do we just keep going for a Johnny? Like I don't want to deck ourselves here. Do one more. All right, we're gonna do one more for a Johnny the Great Heart. I think you will find my yeah! <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh, you didn't want to gain three? <laughs> no. No, that feels worse, because next turn Cure's Dam Breaker is nuts. I was kidding. Were you? Yeah. So you can block two. Um, I think we just let... Maybe not, though. So well, we can we block here, two, right? we, we take go... three, but then they kill the kids that kill Johnny. That doesn't even feel great. So I'm just going to attack with these two. Yeah, just do the two and give one right away. Yeah. But if we attack with three, this guy gets a counter, so that's like... Oh, this has Vigilance. They all have Vigilance. Oh! Whoa! They... Oh, my God. Because the Johnny just gives Vigilance. Oh! Look, so they forgot about the discard effect with the, the static ability, and I forgot about the Vigilance. I'm telling you, the static abilities on Planeswalkers are so easy to forget, dude. I wish they, like, said it there or something. Badger, what's going on, buddy? Good seeing you. Badger. Badger. Okay, so... Uh, just to be clear... We're gonna play this guy and proliferate onto literally all the planes, everything. Also, it selects all your options. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Submit six. Uh, put more counters on everything. Oh, my God. And then we have Vigilance, too. This feels good. Who gets flying? Probably this guy, because I don't want it to die on the ground. I told you it was good. Which one? Is yeah, I know it. I knew it was good, though. I'm just saying it's gonna be the low key card. Well, I can't say that's winning the game. Mm. I would say our ridiculous. I don't think it's low key. Players. I think this card is busted. Actually, I mean, like we complained about this card when we first started drafting this one because in the previous set, it was uncommon. Oh, really? Now it's common again, and we're like, why? Do they scoop? And we get to activate this. Let's just return a card from the graveyard. Oh yeah, we have a good removal spell, don't we? Uh, we probably do have a Wanderer Strike in here. Yeah, I'll just take Wanderer Strike. Sure. It proliferates as well. So we can go play this proliferate and everything to put a third counter on Johnny, and then negative two a Johnny again to put counters on everything else. Oh my god. See, there's so much more happening in this game than, like, in M20. In M20, they're just like, here's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, totally. Oh, it's, by the way, it's an elemental. Okay. <laughs> I'll attack you with my 7-7. Seven, seven. And I'm like, well, I can't do anything about it because all my removal deals two damage. So. <laughs> Shock. Literally. Uh, block you. They have one card in hand. I'm just going to assume you don't have anything that's really detrimental to my life, so. Sure. Wait. But nothing died. Oh. <laughs> Proliferate on everything. Another counter on here. So all these guys yeah. get plus two, plus two. That Johnny great. survives. That was an awesome game. Yeah, our deck is cool. Oh, look. Claim that prize. Give Claim it to me. Claim that. Prize. 
Wait, we can play seven rounds if we do it? Yes, because it's best of one. So, like, they're quick, you know? So you never have to go to three games. Like, wow. So it's a total of se it's seven games total. Oh, that's awesome. This is so much better. I'm so glad we did this. M26? Did you say, I'm sorry, what did you say? M26? Are we going to Cody's? Is that where we're going? I suppose. Do you think that... Ugh, I'm worried about those slippery floors, though. Oh, my God. They do have slippery floors. How did you know that? I don't know. That's hilarious. Because that's a subtle thing, but I do remember them having slippery floors. Look at all these three drops. I don't care where we go. I don't care either, but I just... If we're going to go somewhere, I might, we'll, might as well figure out someplace good to go, right? Yeah, totally. So let's play Pegasus. And if we put a counter on Pegasus and then a counter on Iron Bully, then this will proliferate both of them. That's so nice. So exciting. And then this guy will also proliferate both oh, of them. That's so nice. Oh, a little. Oh, and we got the pupper. Oh, it would be nice to, to plus the pupper. Oh, yeah, it'll be nice to plus the pupper, as they say. You gotta plus the pupper, you know? Gotta plus the pupper. You got that pet shower. Pet shower. Pet, you got that pet chair. Pet chair in the Sometimes mud Sometimes I get out of my mud room and go into the pet chair. People are like, what the fuck are they talking about? I just want to block here. This card is so good. Uh, What is it when a land enters? Yeah, you proliferate. Oh my god. It's kind of busted. I hate that, but yeah. Especially if this guy gets even one counter on them, yeah. then they just get an extra counter for every block. That's For every... Every land, rather. But that's we're about to get so bananas with our with our pupper. With our pupper. Sometimes you gotta walk your pupper into the shower room and through the through the, through the mud, mud room <laughs> into the shower room that happens to be the mud room. Oh dear God. Why did they offer that trade? I don't know actually, but I took it. I accepted their trade. Uh, no blocks. Talking about my shower and my pupper in the mud room. I'm gonna put a little count counter on this guy. See, the bad thing about best of one is that if you get mana screwed, like our opponent seems to be with his single color. Yeah, then it's like you get really scared. Right, it's, it just punishes you more because that's one of the good things about magic is that you get three three games. So if you lose one to mana screw, you still have the other two. Yep, that's also pretty good. Looks like they had their own pupper. I'm gonna take Salem. It's a lot of damage. A lot of things are happening here. Put a 1 1 counter on this guy. Oh, we got to do it. Yeah, let's go. I think we just put it on this guy, right? Yeah, the pupper. I mean, it, it makes him. Oh, they have a pupper too. Oh, I was zoning. Out. We have a 9 9 pupper. Such puppers. Oh, we're going to have an 11-11 pipper. You can stay home. How are we getting 11-11? Because we're going to Kiara's Dawnbreaker. We don't have a blue yet, though. We're going to? Oh, yeah, you're right. We are going to. I didn't even think about that. That's a good positive, point. positive, positive vibes. Oh. So much puppers. This is bronze rank is why. All right. Well, whatever, man. Wait, what is that? what's that mean? Uh, I don't know, man. People just say people just say the randomest stuff. <laughs> what type of cuisine is Florida most known for? Gator tail. Gator tail. Uh, Florida. Florida has very good barbecue. I would say. I'm I think it's cute when people tell me that barbecue in other places are good. Texas has good barbecue, but like being out living out west and people are like, oh, it's the best barbecue. I'm like, that's cute. Oh, look what we drew. What did we drew? We the island. Positive how you, vibes. How positive, did you know positive, that? Positive, positive vibes. Seafood. As much as we don't, I don't really care for seafood. We have good seafood in Florida. Florida. I'm not a big seafood fan. Me but, either, but I know Florida has good seafood. Florida. I know about Florida's seafood needs. Yeah. And our sweet tea is freaky good. I would fuck up some barbecue. 
Oh, do we just get to eat this? Oh god, are we just gonna eat? Oh boy. Oh, that's not that's not good for them. Yes. Positive, 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 positive vibes. <laughs> oh, they got their mountain. Oh, I feel bad. Why do you feel bad? Because for us? They, no, they just Because they just got on, on like yeah, turn like, six, yeah. seven, turn eight. It's like that like insult to injury. Although we were at six. That guy's not that guy's not impressive on turn seven. Oh. That pepper. Oh. <laughs> we can get this divine arrow back, which is pretty. Oh, we can just get gather oh, our courage and crisis back. More. How much land do we have? Well, enough to do it. Are you ready for the positive vibes? Positive, positive, positive vibes. No tails should be discarded. Positive, positive, positive vibes. Dog show. So they're at four. I don't think they can block enough to get rid of it, get past this guy. The other. This guy's got trample. This is an 11 11 trampler with vigilance. So much trample. I don't, I don't know if there's any green card. Oh, they're just gonna. They're just gonna concede. Here in California, we just have cheap imitations of other states' countries' foods, twice the price but half the quality. That's such facts. Oh, I, that's so sad. Yeah, I live in California normally. And Andrew's I a California food. Californian. Californian. Yeah, Chinese food in California is so sad. It's that's because it's like the Americanized so version of Chinese food, no, right? No, dude, I don't know. Like, we have the Americanized version here. Interesting. And whatever authentic version is out there is pure poison. I don't know. It's rough. It is rough. I actually love Florida food. I feel like for the most part. I do too, actually. Yeah, it's weird to say. Like, you've lived, you lived in Seattle. It's a great place for food. Honestly, you say that, but I actually like Florida food better than Well, that's what Seattle I'm saying. Food. Like, living in Los Angeles, people are like, oh, there's so much good food. I'm like, yeah, I guess. But, like, Florida's just so honest. With is food. the Positive Vibes song to the tune of Dog Show? I don't know. I'm not sure. It was an old Set It Off song. We used to sing it in the van. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. And then it would be negative, negative, negative vibes. Positive. Don't positive. have negative vibes. Why and would that be? Just a well, you battle them with the Just abolish vibes. that song. LA County. The other thing about living in like a big city like that is sometimes you want like chain food. Yes. Sometimes you want I to don't go agree. to like yeah. Chili's. And you know and why? You and the can. reason is because I know what I'm getting there. Yeah. I know if I go to Chili's and I get the chips and salsa, or if I get some Southwest egg rolls, I know exactly what I'm getting, and yep. it's totally fine. Yep. It's just chain food can be comfort food sometimes. That's exactly it. Yeah. That's totally what it is. I think people who are so hard on chain food, then they hate, they just hate on it nonstop. I'm just like, I don't know. You're just you're just being ridiculous. Mm -mm. It's just some honest cuisine. Some some regular honest cuisine. We need a. Can we get a planes? Let's get a planes. Oh well, it's kind of like kinda planes. planes. You know what? I accept. I accept your offer. Paradise, 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 good. Get in there, crunchy. Doesn't he do good stuff soon? Yeah, and at an outback, I just want. I literally just want to have a blooming onion sometimes. Yeah. That's it's just consistent. No rules. Just right. Just consistent. When you hear your family. Just positive vibes. Outback Steakhouse. Just positive vibes and blooming onions. Oh, also Badger, RPG Badger is in, he, he's he's an Australian, so. Oh really? Yeah. What is a blooming onion? Oh. A blooming onion is uh, a product of the chain restaurant Outback Steakhouse. Um, and they take an onion and they they slice it in such a way that they can deep fry it. And then when it comes out of the deep fryer, it looks like a, it looks like it's bloomed. Have you ever seen a head massager? Oh, shit. Because it's like a deep fried head massager onion. I'll show. I'll give you. I'll show you guys an image of the blooming onion. Yes. It's really. It's really quite an amazing thing. It's so far from anything Australian. Positive vibes. No, they don't. Well, they, they don't say that it's Australian, but they also don't say it's not. It's just like Outback Steakhouse, Bloomin' Onion. This is what the Bloomin' Onion... Oh, Come oh on God. down and enjoy some beers with us, mate. This is what the Bloomin' Onion looks like. There it is. <laughs> and now we're getting yelled at over here. Oh, that's actually a great troll. Yo! Yeah, it will give you a heart attack just looking at it. 
but it's awesome rpg badger like outback steakhouse is the most american thing ever and it's just like the kitschiest australian like all the ads are like welcome to outback steakhouse come to the australian outback and drink some beers and have some blooming onions with us mate <laughs> we've got we've got uh there are not enough letters in the word in the world no in the word no to express the no-ness of my anger yeah 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 <laughs> and they've got like boomerangs and shit on the walls and it's like everything is like a fucking land rover like as if Australia has never had the, a city. The kids member the kids menu is called the the Joey menu. Yeah, 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 the like, Joey's. It's like we don't have cities or civilization. We just have a boomerangs, a Land Rovers, and our Joey kangaroos. Have a blooming onion, crack a beer. No rules, just right. You want a steak? <laughs> That's right, man. Have a steak, mate. Is is Outback low key racist? I, I don't. I feel like people try to go there and then they're just like, it's America. Let them. <laughs> hey, do what you want. Do what you want. No rules, just right. I got to work by riding my kangaroo. Well, See, then okay, you'd appreciate the Joey menu. Obviously, every Australian does, but it's there's more to you than that. Yeah, you're not you just. Still have, you still have the internet, you know? You're still here streaming. Just gonna read magic cards. Yeah, it's not racist, it's ignorant. That's what it is. Huh. I mean, it's kitschy. Like, that's, they're just trying to, they're just going for the kitsch. <laughs> Australian Mike. <laughs> it's too good. <laughs> I had a, it was so messed up, dude. The reason I got stuck in the Australian accent was I watched that, like, terrible Michael Jackson documentary. And, like, they're telling all these things and all that. And the thing I got stuck in was there was one of the parents or one of the relatives that was Australian. And they're like, yeah, the first time he took us to Neverland Ranch. And in my head, it was just, I wasn't listening to anything in the documentary anymore. It was just Never Neverland, Neverland Ranch. And I just kept saying it. And then I started Neverland watching. Ranch is my favorite salad dressing. It is, yeah. Neverland Ranch. Come on down to Outback Steakhouse. Have the house salad with some Neverland Ranch. <laughs> Crack some Deweys and Tuies, maybe a Foster's. I have no idea what a Dewey and a Tuie is. Dude, it's our favorite beers. Oh, are they Australian for yeah, beer? Yeah, Australian beers. Oh, that's... Australian for beers, Foster's. Oh, Jesus. What are we doing? Ending the turn. <laughs> There's a lot of those zombies, huh? It's like if you're not proliferating, you're making those zombie boys. What are you saying to me right now? Oh, God, we really need a six mana here. We, what are you talking We have three mana. Oh, never mind. Actually, what we can do is wander a strike, kill one of these. We're just going to play this guy. Dog show. Dog show. Proliferating. Oh, yeah. I mean, Frank and I, I'd say... Do you guys want to see it again? Look at that. Yeah, it's the blooming onion. It's basically you take one onion and you proliferate a bunch of times. <laughs> it's when you take an onion and you proliferate that onion. Yeah. Did you hear the new LR rap when they were speculating the new MTG Netflix show they suggested making a 90s kids show? Me? No. No, I did not. <laughs> Stop showing. I'm going to go deep fry something. It was funny. It was a funny <laughs> comment. <laughs> Pretty dang delicious. Okay, okay, now, now we're still land shy. Now dang we're cooking it. with gas. Well, we're not cooking with any gas at all. You see, we could wander, strike, kill one of these jabronis. Do a, we care about any of those jabronis? I don't know, man. Not really. Why is that one all hazy? Why is that? Uh, because it all? has summoning sickness. Oh. Well, we've played the Pegasus, which is my favorite card. Just take a whole onion and throw it in the deep fryer. Yeah, throw it in the deep fryer. I'm saying no attacks here. Hop on the motorbike, grab an onion, drive it down. Put your onion in the deep fryer. Drive down to the ranch, throw it in the deep fryer. And take your Roger kangaroo back home. Watch, grab a beer while you're drinking it, while you're waiting. Grab a beer while you're drinking it? <laughs> That's how I drink it. Yeah, I, I like to grab a beer. Please stop, this is so... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm this sorry. is what Outback Steakhouse does to Americans. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> I 
I would love to hear an Australian stream with a bunch of people making fun of America. Like, hello, my name oh, is Steve. Oh, that's my favorite thing. I'm going to go get a hamburger down at the all of my, at the TGI Fridays. Dude, all of my friends from outside of the States with the best American accents. What's up, man? Yeah. Let's hey, get an out burger. Hey, totally hey dude. Would you like to go get a cheeseburger and some French fries? Oh, totally, dude. <laughs> I hear the TGI Fridays is still open. We're still waiting on the land, huh? What a weird game. We're just like kind of at like a standstill. Yeah, people imitating Americans is amazing. God, I keep saying end turn. I keep thinking I've ended my turn. Oh, you killed my little bird. That sucks. We liked that. That was my favorite card. What was your favorite card? Oh, uh, good. Kefnet. Wonderful. Oh, we get to exile it? That doesn't do anything, though. That is unfortunato. Whoa! I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa! And don't it feel good? Hooting mandrels. They are hooting. Hooting mandrels are hooting. Yeah. That'd be a really fun throwback draft. Some cons. Oh, uh, some cons? Yeah. That was so fun. I feel like we're just. I feel like we just can't break through here for some reason. But we're not losing. We're just stuck. We just need land. I feel like I'm losing. And that's the important part. Actually, these double dam breakers should probably do some do some serious work, but. Okay, well, big Grizz. Big Grizz. Up in this bitch. Does everything get one? Well, everything that we have counters on already. Yeah. Okay. I will help you through this. Thanks. No attacks. Oh, Jesus. I don't even know what you guys are talking about over here, man. I feel like this is the most value anyone's ever gotten out of Jang Yangu before. 100%. What did they get rid of? Their mass token, I guess. This is just a 5 4 for 5. That's boring. They're not really doing that. like no. Yeah, right, but they're drawing this next turn. Kefnet's insane. Kefnet is insane. I don't know really how to beat it. So that sucks. That does suck. What are we going to do? We got to beat it. Oh, we can oh. walk on sunshine. I'm crutching on sunshine. Whoa! It kind of feels good. Yeah, kind of. A little bit. I wish I was walking, but... He's crutching, though. Mm, they sacked the token. So, what the fuck? How do we beat Kefnet? Because that's going to suck. All right, take it easy, Chief. All right. Can we just put a counter on this? Proliferate onto everything. I want to play this and then put a counter on Mowu, Mowu next turn. I think we win with Mowu. It's very possible. Mo we play is... Mowu this turn. Yeah. And then we gotta we gotta get him counting. Mowu is going to be our guy. We'll see. They it's... have one card? Mm hmm. But they have. Oh, that's... they're going to get back. They're going to sack one of these guys because they have two of these guys. They can. Oh, they have double Tyrant Scorn? Jesus. I know. 
The game has gone on so long that they've been able to get a lot of silly stuff, but... Well, it's our I, last card in his land. They only get to play one of these. So. I just... I don't even remember Kefnet. I just remember it being so annoying. It's a 4-5 flyer for 4 that never dies, basically. Uh-huh. And whenever you draw a card, you can reveal it, and if it, it costs 2 or... Uh, what is the word I'm looking for here? Uh, no, you just get a co you make a copy of it, and you co it costs two less to cast. So it's just like forever. Sure, just bounce on the guys. Yep, that was a great last card to have. Where did our pupper go? They killed it with the card that they got back. <sighs> it's really hard to get through. I know. The God Eternals are the one thing I don't like about World Limited. R&D did not print enough answers for them. Yeah, because there's no answers for them. Basically, you have to mill them. But if you ever get rid of them from the battlefield, like, there's... Or you have to counter them, basically. Do we have any... What do we have flying? Do we have anything that we could just use to block? Nothing that blocks a 4-5 adequately. But then it also just doesn't help us win the game, you know? Right. So then we're racing. But how are we going to get through? Especially without our pupper. And that damn planes. Just passing here, I guess. I'm walking on something. What's this? Are those like droopy eyes? I don't know what those are. Oh, look, they Toil the Invasion was the card they drew so they can play it for one less. They can copy it and play it for one less. Yep, we're just going to keep it here. Damn it. So Wait, so that's it for us? What now? You get three losses. Oh. That was our first loss. Oh. I was like, damn it. Dang it. Yeah, that sucked. I mean, they're mythic, so I guess that kind of balances out, but not really. Like, it still ruins the whole game that you're playing against them. Okay. I'll, I'll risk it for the biscuit. Actually, yeah, I saw. I, I didn't see the. I mean, we can't do anything with it, but we still have four lands, and. I think I'm done with my pillow. Can you remove my pillow? How much do you hate Aussie Man? You, are you done with it? Yeah, I'm done. Is your butt getting too too soft? I don't know. I okay. think it was just time. It's just time. You know, I needed a, a change of. Uh, How are you feeling now? It's kind of nice. Okay. You got you like mixing up the the different the different thicknesses. You gotta, yeah. I'll use some natural butt padding now. You can put some paper towels under you too. That's a nice. Uh, I'm not leaking. It's well, it's not for it's not for absorbency. It's just a nice little. It's a different texture thickness. That thing drives me insane. Is there a better way to tighten those? Yeah, just pliers. No, I mean like, is there a better way to keep it like on? No, I would just use pliers to give it that extra little. Because they just always get. I feel like they're always getting loose. Getting loose. You can move that as any, any way you choose. Oh, wow, look. They actually got rid of our flyer with the forced landing, but we would have drawn Iron Bully to put a counter on it and then proliferate every turn, so it would have worked out beautifully. Ugh. Why do you always have guests whose legs are hurt? That's a good question, actually. What? Who M else? Mike's Mike hurt his uh, his like back. He hurt his back and leg. His sciatic nerve was pinched, so. Oh, God. So he was like busted up for like a couple like a month two months i think mm -hmm. is it their turn or are they diddling around yeah they're just they're just doing their doing their little diddle <laughs> have you seen that snl skit papyrus yes with ryan gosling doing that little thing he does I don't know if I remember it as well as you, as but it's, it was good. I remember it being good. Him being upset about the designer. He's like, I need to just see <laughs> and he goes him. to his house. I need to see him doing that little thing he does. Oh, I see. The wild wasn't to be contained. Hmm.
when you drop shields? What does that even mean? That's interesting, because you just play Vivian as like a draw one. Because now I just get the attacker, right? Unless we're missing something? I don't think we're missing anything. Boy, I really need a blue mana here. Or cards we can play. I'm, I'm fine with either. Yeah. Hello, I was gifted a subscription. I just want to say thanks to whoever it was. I have no idea who it was, but welcome, buddy. Also, if you guys were gifted subs or if you're regular subs, definitely check out the subscriber Discord. It's pretty sweet. Oh, you have a Discord? Yeah. Every defeat is a new beginning. You guys know about Discord? You got Discord in the music industry? Yeah, kids use it. It's interesting. I Boy, mean, do I, they. I don't really use it too much, uh, but I know like artists, like an artist will have a Discord, which seems, I, I don't know. Isn't it just kind of like a big Slack? I don't know what Slack is. It's like a business Discord. Yeah. If, it's, if it's like a business Discord, then it's like that, yeah. Well. <laughs> If you use Discord as a describer for the thing, then yeah, I would assume. I guess it's it would similar. have to be similar to that. But no, I mean, like Discord's basically reminds me of um, like chat rooms during the back in the day. Remember? Yep. Um, you could basically have like, cause there's like, have you used it? It sounds like Slack. You have a chat room and you can make separate channels and Correct. you can yes. invite certain people. Like this is my Discord channel, and then we have like Star Wars movies. When yep. you storm area 51 oh, dude, and find this all the is dead. Slack. Yeah. Yeah. It says when I go live. Yep. And then, like, you can personally talk to people. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can make, like, an announcement channel. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. Things like that. Really. Nerd shit. Yeah, see, look, they're extremely similar. Thank you. Oh, Badger with 10 gifted subs. Totally normal. Totally normal. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. What? Even despite our, uh, our, our thrilling Australian accents. He came through. I came. No, I'm not gonna. I can't, <laughs> I can't do it in response to uh, ten gifted subs. How's really that appreciate so, it, buddy. So he gifts like is do ten different people get Thank a gift you. of a sub? Yes, all all ten of these. Whoa. All ten of these people here. Yeah, I'll just take ten here. I'll take nine rather. Thank this guy's you. really big. I really really love. Give me a wanderer strike. Just a bully. Five, six, seven, eight. So we can play Tamio and Iron Bully here. Thank you. And then just chump block with the Iron Bully, I guess. How was I not paying attention for two seconds as a nine eight worm? Uh, that's just that's just life, man. Life is just a nine eight worm. Honestly, what do we want to do for Kenya? Let's name a Johnny. There's no cards to get back, so maybe we'll get lucky. We didn't get lucky. Nope. Never lucky. But we do have my trusted Pegasus. All right, we're hard trying. wins games. Hopefully they don't have a removal spell for this guy or else we're dead. The worm is not trampled, correct? Mm -hmm. okay. That's awesome. Oh boy. Oh, we're just playing against mono rare planeswalkers up in here. Uh -huh. Badger, thank you so much, dude. You are awesome. Oh, I guess I'm a sub now. You and me both. Yep. Is this Twitch that they give subs? Yes. Yeah, nice. That's Twitch like, television, as That's it were. huge for you though, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll chump block here. Remember that Mario song? Do you guys want us to live stream our dinner too? <laughs> no. On your phone? You can do I it. I mean, it's physically possible, but I'm 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 vetoing it. Okay. Do you guys want us to record a podcast? Oh, oh, gain th oh, all right. One. So wait. 5 6 7 8. <laughs> no. Wait, what can we get back? We can get back a chumpy boy. What do we need right now? I kind of just want to. I kind of just want the island to be honest. Weird. I mean, yeah, because then we can. I don't want to have to worry about relying on this. Yeah. Look at this. It's like... <laughs> uh, we can put a counter on this guy. Let's say. Oh wait, this has a menace. Hold on. We win three, four, five, six, seven. We can give this flying. That's eight. Nine to yeah, we can actually just win here if they don't Let's have anything. Go. What? Okay, so what do you see? What's your line? Target creature. This. Yeah. Put the counter on you. Uh huh. Thank you. Because cool. this guy has menace, yeah. so can't be that blocked anyway. Through. Yeah. So flying, flying menace. Oh, okay, I see you. And is that that does the damage, right? That does the damage. Okay, so what just happened? Thank you. 
What's going on? I'm not sure. Oh, Josh gifting 10 subs. Also, also pretty, pretty unbelievable. Man. Jeez. Do you know Josh? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Josh is super cool. Josh is uh, a, a pretty consistent supporter. That's sick. Uh, so we're going to give you flying. Yeah. And this is 11 damage. So unless they have something here. Thank you. But we also gained two life, so we're at like a thousand. We're at thirteen. And we have a blocker for this Thank guy, so we take three, four, five, six, seven, eight with another Nissa. Oh good, they have something. No. What? They don't Thank have something? You. I don't know what's going on. What they just added mana and then nothing happened. Josh, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much, man. Josh and Badger, you guys are pretty ridiculous. When you least expect it, 100 subs. <laughs> oh my god. Why are you guys like this? I mean, I guess it's for the best, but it still makes me feel... So we did it. <clears throat> you can thank Badger for motivating me to do that. Motivating me to do that. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, Josh and Badger. Yeah, like that's like that is the lifeblood of you doing. It is definitely right? the Twitch lifeblood, yeah. Yeah. It is it pumps through the Twitch veins. Whatever that means. Mm -hmm. We're doing all right here. I would say. This is a fun deck, too. You're a fun deck. Thanks. Got him! Cool. Did you guys hear me get him? So what are we... Are we leaning towards Cody's? I mean, yeah. Outside of that damn slippery floor. Oh, that's right. Either that or I would do barbecue. What if I just carry you in? You can. I'll just it's carry just... you like, like a... Like a like a husband carrying his beautiful bride across the threshold. It's just that this, the upper leg, is more sensitive than anything. So the carrying is... What if I throw you over my shoulder? That would be better. Okay. We can do that. They made us sacrifice our guy with Liliana's Triumph. Otherwise known as they have no soul. Yeah, that's silly. You're silly. Got him. You get me good there. I'm not sure how you're going to recover, to be honest with you. Hmm. Alright, they have two cards we have four. Did they mulligan? I wouldn't know because there's no log. I really wish there was a log. <laughs> no attacks. Do you know how to fireman's carry? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, Frank, fireman's carrying Andrew. Yeah, this seems to be live. <laughs> oh, is that like when you toss it over the shoulder yeah. and then you carry it like that? Is mm -hmm. that what it is? Yeah. My name is Andrew. And I hurt my I little leg. To be fireman carried. Why do I not know what Vivian's Grizzly does? I Which, still haven't. I haven't read it. I literally told you what it did. I know, but it, it's, it's okay. It's new. It, look at the top card of your library. Oh, we just use it for later shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so when you have a bunch of extra mana, you can just try to draw extra things. Extra mana, draw things tonight. Extra mana, draw things tonight. <laughs> extra mana, Wang Chung tonight. Extra mana. Wow, well, that was good. Try to hit that full side. Extra, extra. No, I can't. It's, he's still young, guys. He's still... Extra. I used to be able to do it. I used to be able to make my voice crack. Like back crazy. in my day. Extra mana wang chung tonight. Not just thrown over one shot. Oh, like thrown over like a towel. Oh, that's interesting. So Andrew would be like wrapped around my neck. Oh, that would be worse for me than anything. It's not about you. It's about, okay. it's about the... It's about me, Andrew. <laughs> Oh, this card seems nuts right now, and we Yo. have double bullies. Yeah, that's a yikes from me, dog. Oh, we can also use this to put a counter on it. Oh, boy. This deck worked out. 
Wrapped. Did I say wrapped? Is that wrong? Is that not the correct? An Andrew Mink, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Like you have no, you have no, pro you have no counters whatsoever. I'm alright with that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are they gonna rabbit bite? Uh oh. Rabbit bite incoming. Don't rabbit bite me, bro. Don't rabbit bite me, bro. Just give me, let me get one swing with this grateful apparition. Oh, this guy has reach though. Dang it. Dang it. Draped would be a better term. Oh, wow. I mean, yeah, all right, you got it. Mm. I can't mess with that. Mm -mm. Nope. I think we're actually gonna put a counter on this guy. Mm. We don't, we lose the first strike, but I wanna be able to gather and cry. Ooh, Jangu, you make Jangu. Yeah, we're just gonna play this guy now. Oh, Jangu boy. Let's go. Because also, next turn, all of these add mana so we can just Kiora's Dambreaker proliferate on everything. Oh boy. No attacks. Jangu has the land ability? Each creature you control yeah. with a 1 1 counter adds a mana. Okay. Yeah, that guy's good, but that's. Not a concern. What? Oh. Well, butter my biscuits. I'll choose. I can't even see what that says. What does that say? I think it says four. So I'll choose it. Put a counter on the dam breaker. Next turn, we'll do it again. Dam breaker. That's what. You got that right. Damn. Dam breaker is right. Breaker. Moron is right. Oh. Do you remember that? Remember that grit story? Where you're like, you gotta put moron on the grits. And I was like, moron is right. Because you kept adding sugar to it. Oh, yeah. It sounds like something I would do at Warful House. You just kept adding sugar. And we were like, if you need to add this much sugar to grits, are they really worth it? Yeah. It's awesome. It's just a better way to eat sugar. It makes you feel better about eating. Oh, I'm going to get this Grateful Apparition back. Oh, let's go. I think we're comboing off right now. I think so. And they're not doing too much about it. And then I'll put a counter on, on old Grateful Grady Boy. Oh boy, this deck is nuts. We are doing it, guys. Yep, don't care about that. We don't care. We don't care. And I will double block this. Okay, that's the end. <laughs> wow, they just gave up. Yeah, well, because next turn we get to go uh, proliferate onto things with this guy. Everything has a counter on it, including our two planeswalkers. Kiora's Dam Breaker. Put a counter on everything else, including our two planes. It's just unbelievable. Look at our reward. We got an uncommon. An uncommon planeswalker. What a time to be alive. That's great. How many subs are you at, Frank? Currently? That's not accurate. Maybe that is accurate, actually. Mm. Eh, maybe it's not. I don't even know. Mm. I don't know. I don't, where's the number? I don't know if that's correct though. What isn't there a magic number though, like where you're like much better? No, on... I have the highest tier of. Wait, what's the tier? When do you get? Uh, to... if you ha if you hover around 500 subs for a few months, mm -hmm. then they give it to you. Okay, cool. Toy. <clears throat> did you um? Did everybody in the chat Wang Chung tonight? <laughs> Just asking for a friend. Has everybody Wang Chung? I don't. I didn't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to be invasive or anything. But it is. Do you need more subs again? Oh God. I never turned down subs. If that's uh, if that's what you're asking. Everybody more subs tonight. Everybody have subs tonight. You know another spot that I like is Yaya's Chicken. I fucking love Yaya's Chicken. Do you? The problem is all of the locations get trash reviews because they're so dirty. Well, that's part of the lore of Yaya's. It's so good though, dude. The dressing, the salad dressing is my jam, dude. Everything is good. Oh, dang. I really wish we had a green mana here. It's awkward that we don't. It's strange, very strange. How dare you ask of my Wang Chunging? Who do you think you are? Hey, buddy, listen. I'll talk about your Wang Chunging all I want. Mm -hmm. 
no attack. Oh, it's my turn. And mm -hmm. we drew the forest. Oh. I guess we'll no attacks here. We like that. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. I don't want to lose to mono flyers dot deck though, so. Now, I, yeah, I'm really sad about missing this attack now, but. They probably wouldn't have. I'm clicking on this. There we go. Click it on this. I'm clicking on it! Hmm. That's pretty good. Guess we'll take nine. Guess I'll die. Three, four, five, six. I don't really want to take another five, so I guess we're just going to keep getting rid of their flyers. Hope this... Theater Strix doesn't do us in. Theater Strix. And then we then we die afterwards. The old Theater Strix. Oh, well, it's getting there. Good lord. Paradise Druid. Paradise Druid. Australian for beer. Four, five, six. <laughs> it's not okay. Oh, Lord. All right, not dead yet. Let's get down to business. <laughs> to defeat Andrew. Then they give us Andrews when he asked for Andrew. This song is terrible. The Andrews who didn't do well, Andrew. Return a card from my graveyard to my hand. One day I'll make Andrew out of you. Be Andrew. Everybody. Everybody. It's good. It's very good. It's very good, Andrew. If that is your real name. Is it your real name? Yeah. Can you prove it? No. Do you have a birth certificate? No. You don't even have one? Something, man. So if we attack with all three, they actually have to block two. They, if they just block this guy... If this guy gets through, they have to also block one of these. So I think that's actually fine. Surprised we're actually doing extremely well here. Wait, shit. When did we get the two? Uh, well, we're fine, though. They don't have any, like... Yeah, they have the trade Oh, here. and we're attacked. Right. So Sorry. they're at three. And we actually get the Tamiyo to try to find something. And this guy's hexproof, so there's nowhere they're getting through it. Might as well look for a Johnny. Always looking for a Johnny, because it's just fantastic. The life gain's great. The ability's great. It's just great. You're great. Thank you. You're great too. Even if your femur isn't in, in you know t tip top shape. It's not in tip top shape, but it'll get there. We and win. When it'll return, it'll return full of titanium. Well, it's already returned full of titanium. That's true. Now it's it on a titanium some journey. Bone. We're crushing this draft just to be yeah. This is awesome. Clear. Sing songs and everything. Dude, if anything, we're gonna get another uncommon. <laughs> That's all I really wanted. I was like, can I play seven rounds to get an uncommon? That's that's what we wanted. Facebook Marketplace. I don't use it, but it's getting pretty crazy. Is it? I feel like it's always popping off. Is it always pop I sell a bunch of stuff on the Facebook Marketplace. See? How'd you bust your femur, someone wants to know. It's a stupid story. We can't go into it. There could be legal ramifications. 
Yeah. You broke I, it on Facebook Marketplace? Yeah, I broke it on Facebook Marketplace. He did. It was, it was popping off, and he was yeah. like, I can't. Yeah. What do we think here? It seems good. Seems better now. So what's happening after this draft? After this draft, we're going to get some food. Badger, you are you are deep into this stream, my dude. I keep wanting to play your deck though. I tried to play it yesterday and I was I was I would have played it today, but I've been waiting for you to be here. So I want to make sure you're around. Badger, let him know when you're coming back. Badger, when are you coming back? Get in there. I can watch it on art right, if you're if you're okay with me just playing it when you're not here, that is fine with me. I just wanted to make sure I gave you the option. What'd you just say to me? I was just clicking around. Ooh, just we click. just drew it. Yeah, he's pretty good. Let's go. Are we going to go? I think we got to go. Do you think we have to go? We got to go. Does Actually, he we can go Jangan McYangums. Yes. And then we can play Martyr for the Cause. Put a counter on one of these dudes. Because I'd rather play a Johnny after we have Jang Yangu on board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we gotta. It doesn't actually matter where we counter because Ajani will get everything. So just. I will help you through this. Uh, I'm gonna say no attacks here. Mm -mm. Or maybe just one. No, because so. if they get rid of this guy, I don't want to. I think it's not worth it. If they go like kill this no, guy somehow. We're about to be so good. He's right. We are about to be so good. This is a four-one haste. When it dies, put a one counter on creature control. Sure. So, good. so now we can just chump block this guy. I do stream at stupid o'clock there. That is, that is true. I blame Australia. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four. We have six mana total right now. That's what we need, right? Well, we can we can go Iron Bully and then proliferate onto everything, which seems pretty insane, actually. And we can just keep saving this. Uh... Does anybody have Vigilance? No one has Vigilance? Uh, not yet, unless we play Ajani. Or we can just keep Promotion up. That seems good. Be your best. Our board's looking pretty su pretty fat. It's pretty good. We got a pretty fat board here. Okay. Or we're just coming to a player or planeswalker. That's interesting. Get a mobile. Thank you. Get a mobile. Mm -hmm. Eating a sandwich. Thank you so much for the Risa, buddy. You are officially my second longest relationship. <laughs> nice thick <laughs> board, mate. <laughs> Appreciate it, my dude. Oh, and this gives vigilance? Oh, wow. That's yeah. nutso in the butt, so I always forget about that. Oh, the vigilance is bonkers. Yeah. 5-5, five, 5-4, five, five, six, six. Seems good. And we're down to lose our Paradise Street if we have to? I mean, we could just Battlefield Promotion, which puts a counter on it and gives it first strike. So. Do we have the mana open? They all tap for mana, remember? Oh, my God. Yeah. It's, it's like, not real, dude. I, I might just trade here if they want to trade because this proliferates. So. Yeah. We'll see what they do. I think that's fine. Just go to damage. See if you're okay with this. You're at six? That's really good. This guy has Menace, so you have to block with two dudes. Come on. Get out of here. And we also plus our Yangu, and then both are lethal, regardless. 
right? Yeah, this is Johnny's very good. God, vigilance. They're dead, right? They have to double block here, so then this guy just gets through. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wonder what we draw, but... Doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. We'll never get to see. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, boy. Dang, we ranked up again. Let's get that uncommon. Well, Are we about to get an uncommon? Oh! <laughs> he got so excited. All right, one more win, and we got when we seven one this this beast. That's pretty good, huh? Yeah, you're right. I actually this is why I like regular draft formats better than corset draft formats because I feel like I have more opportunity to make like you could tell in those turns there were like four different ways to sequence everything. You can activate this planeswalker first, play the other planeswalker, activate that planeswalker, tap the creatures for mana to get the to play the planeswalker. Like yeah, you're not just uh, it's a elemental. And then, right, I guess this creature attacks, so I'll attack with it. I like just it like, okay. it, it's synergistic to the tribal <laughs> elemental part. It's a, I like having tribes uh, that synergize it, with things. Tribal elemental attacks, and when it does, it's plus <laughs> for the amount of... And you want to know what else it does other than attacking, but that's all it does. If you, it just attacks. You just so. make sure that you have... A mana open for shock, the only removal spell. It's all you can do is shock. So if you have a, a, a two three, then it just never dies. It's the strongest card in the format. And don't even get me started on two fours, because they're really good too. You can't get you need two shocks. <laughs> How many shocks is too many? Uh they're none because you want a four for one yourself to kill a, a seven seven. What is how oh, oh wow. That's a great start. It's even better next turn. Aww. It's even better. Just don't kill it. Everyone even has been able to kill this. Better. Yeah, they kill it quick. Cause that, isn't, that isn't going to do it. That's just a little shit bird. Shit bird. Little shit bird coming through. Excuse me, little shit bird. Do, do. Three, three. Do you want to bonk? You wouldn't. You wouldn't. You won't. Ooh! 4-4 four, four flyer on turn three seems good. This is where they go, Obnixilus is cruelty. Look, they're hovering over it. Oh, Tyrant's going. How nice. It's okay. It's only an uncommon, guys. <laughs> we had one good attack. This guy blocks their whole team, so I'm not too worried about it. Plus, we have two five sixes in hand. Mm -hmm. And we really do get there. Like, getting to six is totally doable. I'm going to get rid of you, and I'll get rid of whatever. Oh, yeah, six ain't a lot of mana. Look, we did it right now. Look, we did it right now. We're already there. Living on a prayer. Take Andrew's hand. He'll make it. He swears. Uh, there was a second where I stopped, and I was like, don't do it. I thought it was good. And then I was like, no, I have to. I have to do it. I must do it. You stay back. You get in there. Trade with that Thunder Drake. Thunder. Th -th Thunder. Drake. Drake. I think we're dead here, though. Dude, we took a lot of oh, damage. They just That's an interesting choice. I guess they just did that to give that guy an extra an extra little bump. Oh! That is helpful right now. That's not bad. That buys us a little bit of time. Uh, just you, yeah. One, two, five. Yeah, we're just going to go balls to the wall here. All right. Is your guest Australian, Mike, now? It's easier for you to just name... Yeah, each of my guests are named Mike, though. That's, they the, are, whole that's the whole theme. We already have that theme going. That's the whole bit. This guy, too? Yeah, sure. I don't care. Okay. All right. Uh, I feel like we're a little bit behind. Really? 
Well, is this at four? They're at what? one. Oh, yeah. They didn't take it four. Yeah, that's true. That that one turn really did a ton. I hate having zero cards, but I sure do like that cat. That doesn't do anything. No, your cat. No, this one doesn't do anything. Yeah. Oh, cool. I just want it blue. I just wish I could default it to blue all the time. Yeah. Because it's the best color of magic. So we're going to have two flyers here, and this guy has menace. So you have to double block here, and then block here with a flyer, and then this guy, one of these will get through. That's my theory. Unless there's any way that he just does four to us right now? I mean, they would have to actually have a, a, a mono blue removal spell to bounce this guy, and they can attack for two and two, which would kill us. Yeah. But it has to be... Wow. They have to just that have was it. awesome. They didn't have like it. You, you played that well, though. Like I felt like that was you being a good player. I feel like I, I played it better than, like, uh, the, the I felt I played this better than I played the Corset drafts. Let's sure. put it that way. Was that it? That was the last game? Yeah, that was, wow. like, eight, that was eight games. Let's see what we got here. That was an hour and 20 minutes. Oh, I actually have all the War of the Spark rares and mythics, so the only thing I open now are gems. Yeah. Is Does that help you at all? It's not as good as opening rares and things, but it is what it is. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch on Patreon, on CoolStuffInc.com, and on Mana Traders. You can find all of those links down in the description below. I really appreciate the support. Uh, did I say slam the like and subscribe buttons? Did slam you? them again. Slam them twice. Like it. The, the video is so nice, you got to like it twice. This is Andrew. I'm Frank. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.